Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Question and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is, how can you combine two objects? You'll be given with two objects and the expected output is the combined of both of them. Very simple use case and very extremely use, useful use case because it's something that you would use on a daily basis at your work because you will be some or the other way you will be modifying objects. So let's get started and see how to solve this particular question. This is part 38 of the series. Before we get started with coding, I'll request you to please check out the ebook which covers 108 JavaScript coding questions and answers. These questions will help you become better developer and also help you crack any front-end developer interviews. You can find the book at jartutorials.gumroad.com. The ebook link is also given in the description box below. All right, so the question is, how can you combine two objects? Simple, straightforward, you should be able to crack it in less than 30 seconds, right? The basic fundamental concept is to combine two objects, we will use the spread operator. And as you notice, there are a lot of things that spread operator does in the, if you're following this series, you will see a lot of variations of how we can use spread operator. And that's the beauty and power of it. Let's go ahead and solve today's question, combining two objects using spread operator. So let's have two objects first that we want to add upon, right? And just simply say two objects. So I'm going to say um, address and here I'm going to say street and then city Bangalore, okay? And I'm going to have one more. I'm going to say extended address equal to, and here I'm going to say state. So you, in real time, what might happen also is you will get two different data from two different operations, right? And that's where you will need to actually add them. So let's say combined address is equal to, use the spread operator and spread address and spread spread the extended address that's it and you do a console log and boom boom you should have your you are now combining two different objects to get a common object or an output let's go and see that <coughs> so now you see this particular object has your city country state and street all combined right so that's how you can combine two or more objects just by using spread operator, create them and use them as a extended using spread operator. It will get added to the uh, ob variable wherever you assign it, right? Not only two, you can do multiple objects. You can have any number of objects that you want to add, but the question usually comes, say, optional address and here you can also specify say district okay and you can add that also right and do optional now you should see that also getting added <coughs> district right so that way you can uh, combine two or more or any number of uh, objects into a common object I hope that's clear. I hope uh, the use case is pretty simple, straightforward for you to understand and implement. So start using that in your day-to-day -day, uh, work as well. <coughs> you can check out the ebook for more such coding questions. You can check out the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any questions, write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.